Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm Proper Baron, this is CK2 and we have returned here in Jerusalem as Duchess Blanche of Ascalon, where we have just gotten rid of the uh, rid of the first king of Jerusalem, King Elfseek the Pilgrim, he passed away in our dungeons, of course completely unrelated to me and you know what I do myself, it was an, a, an accident, a coincidence you could even say. Now what I notice is that the family of King Wen Win Win is very active over here, they actually formed the Empire of Britannia, I mean Emperor Thorkitel the Wise, that is a great feat, but also I'm very afraid afraid of you because he has a claim on the Holy Roman Empire. Now I'm sure that he will never be able to push it because this is elective and they never, you know, elect any kids so this should work out right here, at least I hope so. Uh, he should not be able to actually push that claim and even so, of course, the Mongols are still around. The Mongols are still spooky and the Mongols are still ready to rumble and Kagan Chaghagan may just destroy the entirety of the Western world. Now, with that being said, we are plotting, we are spying, and we are trying to fabricate as well. So we're spying on him, we're antagonizing him, and we're trying to fabricate a kingdom claim. Whether that actually works, of course, is a bit different. I honestly don't see it working for him, but if we were to get rid of him, I could see it for his daughter. Now, either way, let's just hope that everything goes well. Oh, and would you look at that, Saint Franz I, the right believing of the Holy Roman Empire, the first of the Gerulfing emperors, and this one being the second here, they got under, they got it under control after the Otakarian Otak took over for one whole generation. Uh, he became a saint, it is said one of the virtuous men of Holland was stuck under debris, and no matter how many men tried to help it, it was impossible to get the man out. Saint Franz came across them and prayed to God to help them out. Afterwards the man could simply stand up and brush the debris, uh, debris off, as if it was a light as, a fe as light as a feather. Such was the miraculous life of Saint Franz. Yeah, that sounds very realistic. Well, that gives them even more power. Frightening. The Mongol invasion of Crimea has ended Tsar of Bulgaria lost and of course did he not only lose Crimea, he also lost everything that the Mongols occupied over here which makes this much more painful than it otherwise would have been. Honestly I don't think the Bulgarians are going to come back from this. It is a shame because they were doing so well when it comes to the reformation of the East Roman Empire and yet they get absolutely nothing. What a disappointment. Maybe Trebizond can be what we need in these trying times although the dynasty here is about to die out. But at least they will stay uh, Greek Orthodox. That's a good. Uh, that's good news. My spying on Qu uh, King Gwen Win Win of Jerusalem has revealed his complicity in a shadowy plot to kill Dabogal Nick Bjarne. Honestly, I can't even pronounce those. Um, knowledge is power. Thank you. It seems that Mayor Aidwin of Muta, the spymaster of King Gwen Win Win of Jerusalem, has been sent to Jerusalem to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe he should be silenced before he finds out about my plot to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Jerusalem. You know what? I'm actually going to say no, because if he were to attempt to, you know, imprison me, we could rebel. And if we were to rebel, I think I could just oust him via, uh, via that war from his position. I think that's a good plan. How are we doing here? Anyone willing to join me? No. Mm. Thanks to my connections, I was able to get in contact with the Black Guard hiding in King, uh, King Gwen Win Win's court. The man assures me that for a reasonable fee, he will be all but willing to undermine Gwen Win Win's authority, and so descend amongst the subjects. I need only but to say what I want him to do. You know what? I don't want a county claim. That's of course ridiculous. I would love if uh, we could turn the family and vassals against him so that, you know, his immediate surroundings hate him. That would be absolutely beneficial to us, no doubt. Unfortunately, it appears the Black Guard was captured. Put under torture, he revealed the name of his employer to King Gwen Win Win, who has now made the entire plot public. He should have died before talking. Unbelievable. You can't hire any good Black, uh, black Guards anymore this, these days. It's horrible. King Wen Win Win has reprimanded merchants in our regions, citing misconduct in, our, uh, in other realms. However, there are those arguing that the rights of merchants from Ascalon does not fall under the jurisdiction of King Wen Win Win. While it might anger the king, I am considering a public show of resolve. I'll make a public statement about his blatant misuse of power, defending vassal rights. Absolutely. And maybe that plus three diplomacy actually gives me what I need here. Ooh, indeed, it literally gives us exactly what we need. This is beautiful. And we're not going to get over 100%, I fear. Unless I were to get one more support. I just need one more support and then I can actually pick up this option right there. Not just any of the worst options. So what matters now is that we find someone that... Oh, this is perfect. You. I will give you this money and now I shall ask you how far are you away? I think we can turn, uh, turn him around if I give him the finger of St. John. You know what, my friend, Aildwin? Please. And he's joining. It is done. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Fabricated Kingdom claim 90% chance to do it. Let's get it done. With the aid of your fellow conspirators, you have managed to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Jerusalem. And look at that. 
The fact that he reprimanded my merchants actually was his downfall. You never see that. At least I've never seen it, I'll be honest with you. Now, let's put ourselves into a beautiful uh, faction here. Duchess Blanche for Jerusalem, of course. As it goes, we are at 54% strength. I would like if someone could support me here. Just anyone, really. Um, could I buy a favor from you? Oh, that's a lot of money. You know what? I will ask for a favor even so, though. Jerusalem might war to make Duke Ashot the seventh of Armenia a tributary state. Okay, so he gone, uh, he's going to further blob up north. Ah, he's going against Tugashot of Armenia because he holds this county right there. That's okay. I think we can still easily destroy him. Now, I spent a lot of this, uh, a lot of our money on this one here. And I will join, I will make you join my factions. Welcome to this faction, 95%. Uh, can we get anybody else in this? Oh, that would be absolutely... If we could actually have all of the important dukes in this, I would be very happy. Now, I gotta ask you, um, I can't send you enough of a gift to make anything happen, and you hate me anyway, but you also hate him. So that is uh, quite fair, I suppose. Hmm, he's still hiding. Same Jerusalem, yeah. Okay, let's have his troops just, you know, walk away from us. Let's have them disappear from the map, and then we shall go against him, and I think we can destroy him. Well, and now, finally, the time has come where we demand the installation of ourselves as... The new lord or rather the new lady of jerusalem and i think we can do it i think we have to do it and i think it is the duty of every good vassal to serve us and not king gwen win win so let's just do it and let's hope that this doesn't go wrong your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded no matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed to help carry out your plan i will not give in without a fight i'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine well then you shall die eh right let's take a look at this we got, of course, the Duchess with us. That's the only person that we actually did get with us. But that is a lot of, a lot of uh, possible force here. A lot of power. And I'm going to call in the Tsar of Bulgaria. Now, he appears to be very busy. What? Valencian Holy War for Rushka? Are you kidding me? What is this? Sultan Ferdi Ferdinando of the Cruel of Valencia is... What? <laughs> Why? Why is this? Wait, I remember the Kerr Dynasty. Isn't the Kerr Dynasty... Yeah, they used to be Hungarian, and I'm pretty sure that I revoked all of their titles, no? Who killed you? Dungeons of Queen Amengard of Pannonia. Yes, they definitely revolted. In some shape or form, they revolted, and I had to get rid of them. I remember this. And now they're Andalusian Muslims. What happened there? I, I honestly, at this point, I don't think anyone knows. Well, either way, let's just uh, try to make this happen, eh? Our righteous cause has attracted many supporters from all over the realm. King Gwen Win Win Beware. How many actually? Ooh, 1,707. That is quite significant. I'm going to try to bait them in. Because this is mountains, and if I can bait them into the mountains, then we would be in a wonderful position. Are they coming? They are coming, you fools. Oh, and they keep coming. Yeah, these losses are perfectly okay. I need to fight this 10k stack, and I think we can fight this 10k stack right here in the mountains. And indeed, we are fighting him. I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander, Bishop Ekfrith, uh, Ekfrith, barking orders, but as I search the mountains, he's nowhere to be found. A fellow soldier finally informs me that he has been spotted cowering in the far back behind a fallen tree, and most disgracefully behind his troops. Hmm, you know what? I will itch. Uh, I will destroy you. Why aren't you begging for mercy? Get out of here. I have decided to be... What is this? No, that's bad. I have decided that it might be profitable to make some time and resources, uh, take some time and resources and try to seriously hurt my sworn enemy. King Wen Win Win is an unbearable pestilence upon this world and I will not rest until I will have made his life a living hell. Hmm. Why don't we make him stress? Absolutely, that is, that is beautiful. Make you stress, my friend. Look at this fight. It should be a victory, but whether it will be, of course, is something else, but... Yeah, there you go. It's the center flank that, as always, cleared out every... You fools. They just sacrificed themselves. Wow. I tried to breathe deeply, but catching my breath in the freezing weather is difficult. Look, it's the leader herself, someone shouts. I turn only to find myself overrun by a dozen of King Gwen Win Win's pompous soldiers. I can defeat those. No, no, no. I want to... Wait, I can't defeat him? Oh, man. I'm not losing my hand. Get out of here. I would rather use uh, lose my level 1 lands, but it still sucks. I should have been able to fight them. I'm amazing. All right, we just defeated their armies, and this is a huge victory for the right side, of course, for us. Let's carry on here. And they are split off here, I can see, but I'm going to follow the larger stack, and we're going to defeat them wherever we find them. Bulgaria has joined our war. Finally, I think I forgot to request it. The fall of Novgorod. 
Novgorod has been stormed by the Tatar horde and both the city and its population are now suffering beyond measure. This cathedral of, uh, the uh, cathedral of Saint Sophia is engulfed in flames as the steppe warriors loot what, wh that which can be carried away and put the rest to torch. Yeah, they're going for Ruthenia here as well. So instead of going for Persia, I suppose they're going for Ruthenia in its entirety. Perhaps their bloodlust has been sated now. Yeah, I highly doubt that. And with this, the war is over. Wait, why are you here, the Abbasids? What are you doing here? Nothing with us. Okay, the war is over. And King Wenwin Win sits in our prison. Absolutely be uh, beautiful. Jerusalem is reunified under the right person. Under us, of course. How else could it be? Now, he shall stay in my prison. Honestly, I'm going to throw him into the oubliette because dealing with a child should be considerably easier in comparison to dealing with a 24-year-old. Yeah, she's only six and I shall now be crowned. God bless the new queen of Jerusalem. God bless Queen Blanche. Now, the thing about her is that I don't think she actually respects the Pope. Necessarily, you know, she doesn't actually, of course, go against him. She doesn't say anything rude. She doesn't write him a letter that says, You stink! But I think she will just say, you know what? Bishop Arnaud, why don't you crown me? Ah, uh, and unlucky. We got called in by Bulgaria into wars against the Ixchadids. And because of that, now that I've found a distinguished member of the Catholic clergy to officiate the rites, it is time to organize the ceremony, uh, ceremony itself. Unfortunately, the necessities imposed by the war I'm waging will force me to have only a small gathering of my closest allies to witness this momentous occasion. Send invitations only to your council members. Ask them to join for a private party leading up to your coronation. Um, actually, let me check something here. Can't even put any of my important vassals on that, so that's fine. We have been uh, crowned. Very nice. Or rather, we will be crowned. The time of my coronation draws near, only a few more days before I am crowned queen before God and all my subjects. It will be a long wait, and I can only hope that the day will not fall in the middle of a major battle. I don't think it will, don't worry. After growing increasingly hostile in the past few days tonight, Bishop Arnaud officially stated his disappointment at my lack of hospitality, publicly berating me in front of my council and servants for how poor and secluded this coronation is. It's a war seclu uh, coronation, what are you thinking about, dude? Bishop Bozan decided to pick a fight with me during tonight's feast. For whatever reason, he has come to the conclusion that I am an ungrateful hypocrite. My god. Why does everybody hate us? What's going on there, huh? Oh, look at that! Duchess Sigrid actually is a girl now. He immediately died in the dungeons. I, I honestly missed that. November, already a couple of months ago, I completely missed that being a thing. Where's she involved? Queen Blanche? Yeah, that's me. Ah, and she must be involved in Cappadocia. Yeah, I see that. Because these are still her vassals, of course. Now, with a child in charge, I'm wondering... Can I fabricate some claims against that child? Yes! Oh, and I will fabricate some claims. I'm sure the people will agree, right? That the child shouldn't rule? As the yells of the commander's drilling troops echo in the tent, Bishop Arnaud gives me a quick blessing and summer as summarily places the crown upon my head, proclaiming me Queen of Jerusalem by grace of God. I'm finally and truly Queen. Very nice. Alright, so let's try to get rid of this title that Jerusalem holds. Revoke the County of Man. They have their troops up there, but we are vastly superior. Ward is, I will defeat you. Man will be ours. Let's clean up what remains. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Earl Alessandro of Montreal tonight. It's lovely, and what I am most charmed by is Alessandro himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning salvation of God. You know what? If any of the characters that we've had so far in this playthrough are fitting for the, sat uh, for the Satanists, it's definitely Queen Blanche. She's wild like that, I think. You know what? If we do not ask, uh, ask questions, why did God make us... Curious. Walking the palisades of my castle, I am joined by Earl Alessandro. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lady, will you carry this with you for protection? Hmm, definitely. Alright, let's take down the stuff that we already took down. What if I told you that all you, uh, all you have been taught to believe in is a lie? Alessandro continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. God lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Reject the tyrant deity and let Lucifer guide your steps. You truly are a witch then? What a nonsense thing to say, but that's okay. Ripimir won his conquest, that's fine. We might, if you offer yourself up to Satan. You will be granted powers God has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. If there's any chance I, uh, it'll do something about my rival, I will. Cool. 
The Satanists are so comically evil in this game. It's sometimes very hard to even like think about playing as them, but Queen Blanche, you know, listen. I've had so many characters and I didn't I don't think any of them were truly suited for the Satanists, but she's crazy, dude. She's just insane. She's done nothing but evil plotting her entire life. I think she would definitely go out of her way to just say, you know what, I'm a Satanist now. If it's aiding me, you know, of course. Now let's become greedy here, sure. Somebody has to, eh? Look at them right here. Oh, okay, that's the extra deeds. Yeah, you don't want to deal with that. I'm gonna step out of the way here for a second. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guard says they haven't seen anyone enter during the night, and I dare not ask my court chaplain to decipher it. Of course the bargain must be struck. Are you crazy? You know what? Guards, oil up the wreck. Are they destroying? Oh, they're ignoring the army of Bishop Swain. What a pain. Well, either way, I'll just keep sieging them. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful man at court. Apparently this Kuna Wolf is a foreign diplomat. I engaged him in conversation for the first time today and we spoke at length about travel routes. I was shocked when he carefully pulled up his sleeve, revealing his mark of Lucifer. You were the messenger, my 58-year-old very attractive friend. The priest smiles. I am pleased to find you not only a charming woman, Blanche, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more earthly pursuits. His, sm uh, his smile turns into a predatory grin as he continues. You'll soon see exactly how committed you are. Alrighty. Cunewolf es escorts me to the bedchamber. I hesitate up upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles from a cir former circle are on my bed. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison. Fear not, sister, power and pleasure. These are the gifts of Satan. Sure. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone and Cunewolf is lying next to me. Smile tugging at the corner of his mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own Queen Blanche, he says. I told, uh, I hold him close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. Ah, he's too old for me. This was a necessary evil. Get out of here. Convinced I am the latest in the line of great defenders of the faith, as a descendant of Amori the Merce Streaming, a group of Catholic zealots has appeared in Ascalon. Though assured they are spreading the faith, they are in fact creating chaos among the local populace. They will probably leave in time. Let's hope that they will. Oh, and would you look at that? They are actually coming for me. And the uh, numbers here are closer than ever. This may be a defeat. Let's just hope that it won't be. Let's check it out. If they defeat us here, then I can still come back with some mercenaries, but I, of course, would rather save that money. And my god, they are having a good start in the center flank, but that is also because we're simply understaffed there. And yeah, they just wiped the center flank just like that. But I think we should have it. Because the other two flanks will be getting together here in no time. Disaster, a fellow member of Lucifer's own Earl Alessandro of Montreal has been caught by Court Chaplain Phillips and his men at arms. They spared no time before they burned him at the stake. That's the guy that tried to have intercourse with us this entire time. Um, I think it's a uh, time to lay low, sure. Come on, you gotta go over there, dude. Oh, you don't actually have to go over there at all. We just defeated them. Very nice. Alright, and by researching Akra, this war should be over. Finally. It's all over but the crying of this child. Um, why are you not in my prison? Excuse me. Hmm. I really was hoping that I would also be able to imprison her, but right, this rebellion, I suppose, it was a revocation rebellion, meaning that that simply didn't happen. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm gonna revoke your title, and I know you're gonna say no. And uh, starting in that situation, we should be fine. Did I just make a huge mistake here? I don't think I did. No, okay. Perfect. Uh, Bulgaria, you are still busy, I see. Well, why don't you try to come in and uh, aid me here? We're gonna clean up Jerusalem, I guess. That's that's what we're doing here. Because the way we're, uh, we can get rid of them here will make it so that we should come out on top by far. That is. How much money are we losing? We're already losing money, of course. Uh, it hurts me, but the Swiss band will reinforce us right where we need those reinforcements. Yeah, you gotta fight him here. They have no morale. If you don't fight him here, then you will never win. This is the only shot that we have, and I think it is the winning decision indeed. Look at this. Let's get rid of 1k of their troops. That is a huge victory for us. No doubt about it. Alright, let me talk about this. How are you doing? 4.48k troops. Where are your troops? 
Erak, right, we just defeated those. Like, I guess we just fought, like, practically everything they have. Let's follow them, and let's make sure that we actually catch them here. But yeah, they're down to 3k, I think we got it. You're hosting a dinner for some local dignitaries when the full moon comes into view in one of the windows. Trembling, you excuse yourself and hurry up the stairs to your bedchamber while stripping off your clothes. You're completely naked when the guards find you crouched on your balcony, howling at the moon. Oh boy. And we still haven't gotten any children yet, that is incredible. I think I will die childless, sadly. It's a shame. It really is a shame. What do you want? Your cause is righteous. Oh, I know what this is. God, I hate this game mechanic so much. Cultural goddamn bonds. Look at West Francia, by the way. I'm very proud of what they have done. Reunified with Aquitaine, pretty much. But Queen Eve, the depraved, I guess we are of the same kind of... Uh, you know, we were created from the same sort of wood. But I hate the cultural bonds mechanic. It makes it so that whenever you conquer anything that isn't your culture, you just immediately become out, uh, come out as the absolute winner. And I am pregnant. My husband will be pleased. Pregnancies come with considerable risks. Now that I'm a child, I ought to appoint a, re a regent who can take over if anything should happen to me. You know, you know what, Duchess Frieda? You have aided us this entire time. You are the person fit for this job. I was dubious at first, but spending these long hours in quiet, dark meditation has helped me find pe uh, peace. I'm a lot less worried about my child than I was only a few weeks ago. Very nice. Uh, tell me about this. How much are you losing this war? 45%. So you're still fine. And I will be able to beat them up in just a couple of minutes here, once all of these troops have arrived. I mean, honestly, we can probably beat them up right now, but... I'll still wait for a second. Valon has enlisted the help of some of the women of the, uh, our staff to cheer me up and keep my mind of the pregnancy. While I wait for the child to be born. If nothing else, it will be nice to have somebody to talk to when I am not dealing with my duties as queen. Noise. Alright, and we're gonna take down this siege and then we're gonna move on and siege, or rather destroy all of these people and un- and re-siege it. There you go. I am now in, uh, locked away because I'm giving birth. Alright, making our armies even slower. You can consider that. Mafalda de Nitria. Welcome, Mafalda. Welcome to this world. She's a very normal child. Good for her. A daughter was born to Queen Blanche the Apostle and Prince Valo named Mafalda. While I've yet to cleanse myself from impurities after labor, my father should be baptized as soon as possible. Given that she is the heir of Jerusalem, I should make sure that the right celebrating her coming into this world is as grandiose as possible. Eh, no. Just don't have the money, you know. One of my commanders died, that is very unlucky, but their army has been defeated. I love how the French take care of any of their overseas possessions, be it Outremer, you know, us, be it uh, the people over in Hungary back when that happened. They're just always like, yeah, this is cool. We can aid you in uh, taking control of these lands. Why wouldn't we? They have been very good about this. Is this your surrender? No. White peace. And the war is over. All of you are in prison and all of you will lose your titles. But that is something that I, of course, will do off camera. And as always, of course, I want to thank the members of the channel that are making videos like this one possible, namely the Barons, Aaron, Stefan, the Richard, Steve, Snell, Thelma, Mella, Thomas, Lachlan, and Mitchell, and then also the Count Shifty from the North and Bomber, and last but not least, the absolutely beautiful Duke, Suspicious, Dark Benedict, Nathan, Nigel Squires, Kenneth, Lexa, Robin, and Vine, left me and I was in Aragon Aiden. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I will see all of you in the next episode later. Alligator.